Davis, Kia Davis of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Webster of Trinidad and Tobago, Hogan of Montserrat, Vizacine of Guadeloupe, Jean-Pierre of Haiti, Newton of Guyana, and Tyrone Webster of Anguilla. Remember Webster looked impressive at the Trinidad and Tobago trials. Sure did. And last year was in the final at Kirft in Kingston, and uh, that country, a rich history in men's sprinting. Keir Davis of St. Vincent and the Grenadines also in the lineup, a double bronze medalist at the under 17 level at Carifta last year, both 100 and 200 meters. There is 5 4 3. Ravel Webster of Trinidad and Tobago. Tall and slim like Richard Thompson, the torpedo, the silver medalist in the 100 in 2008. And, uh, Thompson, another name in that rich history of sprinting from the Twin Island Republic. Found last night a little bit chilly and seems to me that it might be a little bit chilly out there at the moment as well. Did see Gordon of Jamaica reach to the back of his leg on the 700 heats as well. So just a tip for the athletes and coaches, lecture fluids, a little bit more care with the warm-up, important at Kirkta 50 on the first day of competition. Definitely, you have to make sure that everyone is hydrated and everyone is warm up right because coming from different Caribbean countries, we all know the temperature may be hot in all different parts, but again, you're somewhere new, you have to adjust and make the adjustments and make sure you have the fluids in your system. Tougher qualification system for the under 20 boys, five heats, two sure, but then only six non-automatic qualifiers. And we had about six men going under 11 seconds in the first heat let's see what happens in heat number four webster the favorite trinidad and tobago in lane number three off they go nice start on the inside for nisbet of st kitts and nevis webster gets into his running business scene of guadeloupe is also moving well and he gets there first business scene of guadeloupe comes through to win the fourth heat of the under 20 boys 100 meters and he advances to the semi-finals that's a nice turn up webster looked cautious in the early going and uh, it seemed to me maybe watching and me in the heat before just trying to qualify without scratching his paint too much and uh, what loop has a win at crypto 50 for the first time today not the look at it, decent start, nice acceleration, nice and tall, gets to the front. Webster, almost fighting himself a little bit, Revel Webster, but does enough to qualify automatically. And making sure it's secure by the, by the, you can see the dive, you know, stretching his arms out and let you know that he's coming to secure his spot for getting into the next round. So kudos to him with the dive and making sure that he got the win. Watched the time in third for Kia Davis quite closely, so it's 1084, 1088. Oh, Webster got fourth, got third for Anquilla, 1108, 1109 for Davis. That's gonna be very tight to see if he actually gets through to the semi finals. And we still have one heat to come. And with Buaji and Kumi out, the focus now turns to the defending champion, DeAndre <laughs> Daly of Jamaica who will start in lane number seven, 10 one, four, when Boagie and Kume ran 9.99. 10 two, three to win the crypto title last year in Kingston and injured at last year's Jamaica National Junior Championship. Didn't go to the World Juniors, but has had a fine season here. DeAndre Daly from Hanover in Jamaica, goes to school in Montego Bay, and now 